Hey, what's up you guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new FIFA 20 Volta video. Today's video is going to be presented by the EA Game Changers Network. Big shouts to EA for flying me out to Gamescom so I could capture this footage for you guys. Uh, today is going to be all about Volta tips and tricks. So, a lot of you will not have had your hands on this game yet and by the time you're watching it, you might be playing it on the demo or all on the real version of the game, whatever it is. And you might not really know where to start. So, what I wanted to do today was offer you some tips and tricks that will help you get started and, uh, you know, just so you know the basics and stuff, really. So we'll start with, um, I mean, we're playing here just in, like, Volta kickoff. So uh, you, I've chosen, like, teams and uh, I'm playing against Kyle Riley, the EA community manager for the UK. And uh, I've chosen PSG. He's chosen Real Madrid. And obviously the first thing you can do is go in and adjust your formations. You can adjust your teams uh, and... One of my first little tips to you guys would be, like, if you are playing it in kickoff and stuff like this, um, would be to obviously try and think about the team you're going to choose uh, so that you can get the teams which have got skiller players, you know. Uh, you want four and five star skillers. I mean, five star skillers is ideal. So in this particular game, I think me and Kyle are playing 4v4. So uh, we're going to have a goalkeeper each, so we won't worry about the skills there. Uh, and uh, then three outfield players. Now, me as PSG, I've just gone all skillers. So I chose Di Maria, Mbappe, and Neymar and then Kyle chose uh, like Marcelo who would be a great option you know five star skiller as well as being a defender if you can get in get that into your team that's that's like an absolute bonus and then I don't know I think he chose like Isco and Vinicius Jr or something in the end so pick a nice team pick some skillers and get on into your match uh, as you can see here we are going to be playing on Favela so uh, this is this is a slightly larger stadium uh, in the favelas of Brazil uh, a very sort of samba foot Football style, you know, like street football. Um, it looks pretty cool as a stadium itself. Uh, with the, the very, it's just very colourful and stuff. I really like it. Uh, and like I said, it's a slightly bigger stadium than than the others. Now, uh, as we get on into this game, then what you're going to see to begin with is just a whole bunch of skills being performed by me. Uh, but I'm not really like actually completing those skills. So the thing with Volta, and probably the one thing you want to know from the very get-go, is that you can hold L2 and R2, or LT and RT, together whilst running with the ball, and the game is going to do some auto skill moves for you. Now that is going to... Uh, I hope significantly increase the amount of people actually using this game mode to try out skills, to do skill moves, rather than just playing it super sweaty and stuff. Um, because let's face it, you could just pass the ball around and then take the shots like that if you really wanted to. Uh, but the, you know, this is supposed to be a more casual game mode. So try and have fun. Uh, you know, make use of the flair within the game. You know, these footballers can do these crazy skills and stuff. So make use of it. But what I wanted to just make you guys aware of is that you can auto skill in Volta, and that is by holding L2 and R2, uh, and it is directionally based, not just completely random. And I'm sure after a little while you'll get to to grips with what skill moves go in which direction. So the next thing to note is, uh, well, skill moves happen on the ground when you do that, the L2, R2 dribbling, the auto skill. Now, uh, if you want to get that ball in the air, you're going to need to start clicking that right stick in. So I found that by holding L2 and then clicking the stick in, my player would either like rainbow flick it. And again, it's based on which direction you're holding on the analog sticks um so i would get the ball in the air and then like i'm holding lt and I, I, i'm flicking right on the right analog stick and i'm moving right you know towards my opponent's goal and uh, there's going to be the odd little flick skill move the ball's going to be up in the air my player's going to like flick it up to his knee and then over his head or a little rainbow flick or all kinds of like tricky skills and stuff that actually look so good when the ball is up in the air and i haven't perfected this because like, let's face it we've only had the chance to play a few Volta games um, but I can only imagine how crazy this is going to get uh, throughout the year as people really start to perfect this you know getting that ball up in the air and keeping it there and almost moving from one end of the pitch to the other with some crazy skill moves that the ball doesn't touch the ground once maybe you're passing it across the pitch and stuff to your to, uh, to your teammates and stuff keeping that ball up in the air and eventually it's gonna skill over a defender and then end up getting like a bicycle kick or something like that and it will look absolutely fantastic so clicking that right analog stick and using the direction of the right analog stick while the ball's in the air is going to result in air play, which is obviously really cool. So my next little tip for you guys is to use the walls. Now, uh, there's a couple of 
instances where you would want to use the wall. So firstly, it would be to get the ball around a defender and um, you play it in a straight line. Sometimes that player is in between you. He's going to intercept the ball, but play it around him and off the wall and it's going to go straight to him and, and cut that defender out completely. Play that ball at the right angle, sprint past that player that you're trying to get past and then receive the ball back again. And you can do a little one-two with yourself off the wall. So I would definitely recommend doing stuff like that. Use it to your advantage. Another little trick uh, or another little tip that you can use on this game would be uh, taunting players. So if you are standing still, now that could be with the ball or even without the ball, you know, uh, you can double tap the R2 button or RT button, the basically the sprint button on your controller whilst you're stood still and your player is going to start doing all sorts of crazy little taunts. So uh, that could just be like a, you know, like come to me like and he'll move his hands in a way that's sort of trying to get people to like come at him and trying to defend against him but yeah taunting is another area of volta that you guys can get involved in now the final thing that i would say about volta itself and this is more for the uh the 3v3 or 4v4 rush um so the smaller game modes with the the ones with the smaller goals so the the arenas sometimes have a big goal which has a goalkeeper in it uh, and sometimes you, you have like a a very small tiny little goal uh, to aim at now when you're playing in those modes uh, shooting becomes fully manual so you are gonna have to practice your shooting angles let's face it we are all used to playing futs uh, and when it comes to being fully manual we completely screw it up now i know that uh there's been a couple of volta videos out there already where some of the shooting has just been pretty dire it's been pretty abysmal because we are all not used to it so you're gonna need to really work on where that you know the angle of that left stick as you're shooting to make sure that it's actually facing the goal knowing at the angle that your player's at and stuff like that because otherwise you're gonna find yourself hitting those side um side walls you know it's literally gonna not even go on the back wall it'll go off to the side because your angles and your accuracy will be absolutely terrible so those are the basic tips that you guys are gonna want to know about when uh, when actually playing this game mode you know let's say you're a beginner and you're just getting into volta uh, whether it be like uh, on the demo version of the game or on the full game itself and you just don't know where to start hopefully this video has been nice and helpful for you i wanted to end it off i'll just i won't commentate over it i'll stick some music to it uh, but I wanted to show you some of the customization options that are available within Volta, whether this, you know, in like the story mode and stuff and the Volta League. Uh, so you can see like some of the outfits that you could wear as players, uh, some of the hairstyles, the running styles, the celebrations. You guys can see all of that coming up towards the end of this video. Uh, hopefully it's somewhat useful or interesting to you to know the sort of customization levels that you can make uh, people look very, very different should you really want to. Uh, so yeah, enjoy that. Pause Pause it throughout that part of the video if you're looking to see what a specific hairstyle or whatnot looks like because I'll be moving through it fairly quickly. Uh, and hit that thumbs up button. That's what I asked for you uh, on today's video. If you uh, if you know some of your friends are interested in Volta or are struggling with Volta at the time you're playing this, um, then uh, share it with them. You know, Let them know that there's a nice easy tips and tricks video out there that they can learn the basics of Volta, uh, the new game mode within FIFA 20. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great day uh, and enjoy the next part, which is all about Volta customization.